and we're back with some more Bcash FS drama. And today we're talking about a Linux distribution that's seemingly dropping support for the file system. For those of you unaware, Bcash FS is a modern Linux file system that supports copy on write, checksums, and online file system check and repair. The file system creator and maintainer is Kent Overstreet, who has had long-standing conflicts with the kernel community due to his fast-moving user-driven approach. This all came to a head in June of 2025, a few months ago, as Kent submitted a controversial journal rewind tool during the release candidate phase, and Linus Torvalds objected this, stressing that release candidates are for fixes only, and the arguments escalated with the now infamous post that said, from Linus, honestly, at that point, I don't really feel comfortable being involved at all, and the only thing we both seem to really fundamentally agree on in that discussion was, we're done. Signed off Linus. This was a big deal as the word done led to even more fallout. As we're seeing today, we're going to get into what OpenSUSE is doing. And we actually have some back and forth with Kent in the replies to all of this. So stick around. But in the meantime, what happened was Linus went completely silent. Linus only pulled some code, but signaled he no longer wanted to work with Kent, essentially freezing him out and his file system out of the Linux kernel. This sparked about two months of speculation of whether or not Bcache FS was going to exist in the kernel anymore and what its actual fate was. Kent kept submitting patches, even planning to remove the experimental label, but then all of a sudden, out of the blue, we finally got a decision. Linus finally marked Bcache FS as externally maintained. That means that the code stays in the kernel, so existing users aren't broken, but Linus will no longer merge Kent's patches or future work, and it must live outside the kernel in an external repo. Users wanting fixes and new features must pull them directly from Kent, and this really put bcachefs in limbo. Still usable, but it's frozen in the main line, unless maybe Trust is rebuilt or a new maintainer steps in as a liaison between the mainline kernel in Kent. This will eventually stagnate the entire project and some users see this as a better alternative than completely getting rid of it, giving a grace period for users. So now we get into today and what's happening with OpenSUSE. So the headline here in the mailing list at OpenSUSE is that bcachefs is being disabled in OpenSUSE kernels 6.17 and above. So what does this warning mean to users? Well, we're going to figure out, but before we do, make sure to subscribe below. You wouldn't want to miss another video like this. Also, smash that like button on the way back up. Let's talk about what Jiri here had to say about bcachefs being disabled. Hi, given bcachefs is externally maintained, like we talked about a moment ago, announced by Linus, since 6.17, we are disabling the file system in 6.17.2. Therefore, everyone using it should follow the bcachefs's upstream of advices, how to install it, or use it. Anyone interested might also possibly prepare a KMP for themselves and others. And a KMP is a package format that's usually shipped kernel modules separately from the mainline kernel, just so you understand. Moving on, this means there are no new bcachefs commits in the Linux tree, and we won't be maintaining AK backporting downstream patches in OpenSUSE as we usually do not. The current 6.16 is not affected, neither is slow roll for now. Once the bcache maintainer behaves and the code is maintained upstream again, we will re-enable. As in my opinion, it is a useful feature. Now this is an interesting word, behaves, which really threw things up in a frenzy here as we really didn't know what that meant without any additional context. Regardless, what this means for bcachefs is since it's been marked as externally maintained in Linux kernel 6.17 and there's no longer active development inside the official Linux kernel tree, OpenSUSE users won't be able to get bcache FS enabled by default anymore. If you want to use it, you have to follow the instructions and set flags yourself to compile it into the kernel from the upstream bcache FS project. So in short here, they are disabling it, but at a level of configuration. So bcache FS still exists, but OpenSUSE will not ship or maintain it in their kernels until it's back in good standing which threw things up in a frenzy as we get a reply from Kent Overstreet himself, the main maintainer and lead developer of bcachefs. And this here is from Kent Overstreet. I did remove his email address here, but what he states is, can you hold off for a release in response? We'll be shipping as a DKMS module going forward. 
that won't be ready for 6.17 for a variety of reasons, but the version of BcacheFS in 6.16 has been very solid, so there's no immediate urgency. We're totally fine with waiting a release, at most, until the DKMS version is ready. Fixes queued up since 6.16 have mainly been for minor test dashboard bugs that users aren't hitting and performance bugs. The worst that we've seen is a bug in repair where we still repair and mount successfully with no user intervention, just via a more expensive code path. So there's really nothing critical 6.16 users are missing for the moment. I don't know how many OpenSUSE users are using BcacheFS. It's bigger than NixOS, Arch, and others, but I would hate to see anyone surprised by not being able to use their file system. And Kent here is asking the OpenSUSE team for really an extension on when they will disable things claiming that BcacheFS in 6.16 is still stable and the bugs are minor, so there's no urgent need to disable BcacheFS and seemingly doesn't think that it's fair to BcacheFS users in OpenSUSE. So we'll continue on because we get a little bit of clarification here. But before we do, if you want to level up your Linux experience today, check out my checklist, cheat sheet, and my map all with new flashcards at SavvyNick.com. Go download them today. Let's keep moving right along to another reply. Can you hold off for a release? We'll be shipping a DKMS module going forward. DKMS is not really integrated with kernel updates in OpenSUSE. Nothing will rebuild DKMS modules for the newly installed kernel. Of course, it is possible to add scriptlets similar to what NVIDIA package does. It still needs someone to package and maintain it. And NVIDIA package routinely fails to properly build modules on update either. Normal KMP that is automatically created by OBS is certainly better, except nothing will ensure that it is available after the new kernel either. Just a reply from Andre here. And then Ken argues that people need time to sort things out by saying, well, how about we give people time to, to give that stuff sorted? I believe he meant get that stuff sorted. We're not going to be tied to any one particular module build system. If KMP is better for OpenSUSE, I'm sure someone can figure it out. I have my hands full right now, finishing Rebalance version two and grinding through the last of the outstanding bugs to get ready to lift the experimental label. But I'll have more free time for packaging issues next month. And there's a lot of people willing to help out with this stuff that just need a bit of coordination. I wouldn't underestimate the potential user impact. Most of the people I hear from are on the bleeding edge distros, but whenever there's a snafu like this, I find out the user base is bigger than I thought it was. And snafu here means situation normal, all effed up. Basically a mess, but the mess here is unfortunately normal as expected. Anyways, people are quiet when things are working, but they'll scream when they're not. Smiley face. Basically, Kent here is saying, hey, hold on, let's not rush this. Let's give some people some time to sort out the packaging and ship a module instead of completely disabling BcacheFS. And seemingly a user here, Holden, does grow a little bit frustrated with the situation. This seems really unnecessary and I'm honestly pretty disappointed. I have Bcache array running with no issues on one of my OpenSUSE machines at home. And now it's going to be a massive pain just to ensure that array I run builds and have various self hosted data mounted on doesn't appear entirely in two weeks because of essentially a said config Bcache FS change. There are undoubtedly a lot of people who are going to be caught completely off guard with this. And I'd reckon the vast majority of people using BcacheFS on OpenSUSE aren't going to be expecting the file system just to disappear because someone decided to bit flip a build flag. A few weeks of notice and some brief conversations in mailing list Bugzilla, along with the kernel buffer message that says BcacheFS may be removed from the kernel very soon, is nowhere close to satisfactory in terms of messaging or timing for such a breaking change, in my opinion. Can we at least hold off? on doing this unless until an adequate workflow is ready. This seems incredibly rash and it's going to create a lot of pain for at the very least one user, although I'd bet it's a decent number of people for little to no benefit that I can see. An interesting post from a user of BcacheFS as it's about to disrupt their flow. And from a user's perspective, they make a few good points. This is very sudden, but could it all be a misunderstanding? Let's keep going on. Jiri, the original creator of the post and part of Sousa Labs says, so do I understand correctly that you will volunteer to create and maintain KMP? And then as another reply, some more context because we did not volunteer to maintain bug fix, the in-tree code based on some external repo, having 6.17 with 6.16's bcache FS, bcache still enabled is still an option as a transition period. Signed off, 
Jiri here. And finally, the last reply. As we saw that weird word being used behaves in the first post. Okay, I taught myself by reading through the LWN thread. This sounds too harsh in English. It was not intended as such, neither as a kick. Translate the above rather as once the bcashf maintainer conforms to the agreed process and the code is maintained upstream again, we will re-enable. If the above offended anyone, I sincerely apologize to them. Thanks. Signed off JS. So it seems like the team here at OpenSUSE is still disabling bcashfs as Kent isn't following their Linux kernel's development rules and processes currently. At least how I read this here. And that's what Jury meant by behaves. If or when Kent works with the greed process, aka in my mind a slower, more reviewed upstream first development, then bcashfs can be properly maintained upstream in the Linux kernel again, and OpenSUSE will re-enable the support for its kernel build. I don't think OpenSUSE is necessarily wrong here in making this decision, as in the 6.16 kernels, everything stays unaffected. But during 6.17, this change will apply, giving a little bit of a transitionary period here, as it's going to take a while to get to 6.17. They also claim that there are alternative paths, like creating KMPs or DKMSs, that users can build and use. That way, Bcache is not reliant on OpenSUSE having to ship it in tree. Basically here, the OpenSUSE team is just making clear that someone outside of SUSE needs to maintain BcacheFS at this point. And they will re-enable it later if upstream stabilizes. They said explicitly if Kent, the maintainer of Bcache, works with the upstream process again, they'll re-enable BcacheFS in the OpenSUSE kernels. So for the time being, if you're using BcacheFS on OpenSUSE, with 6.16, you're okay, but think about what you're gonna do for 6.17. So this is really the first distribution to begin the fallout with bcashfs after the externally maintained marker from Linus. Again, this means that the code will stay in the kernel tree, but upstream development is no longer accepted into the mainline. OpenSUSE clearly has decided to disable bcashfs starting with 6.17. Users on 6.16 and slow roll will remain unaffected for now. And the reasoning here is SUSE does not want to carry unmaintained in-tree kernel code nor backport patches from an external repo. They did give some alternatives like building modules and packages themselves. And Kent says that it is planned but needs more time because it won't be ready for 6.17 where they plan on disabling bcashfs. So the future outlook here is not good for bcashfs as this might happen with more and more distributions. OpenSUSE is just the first to respond here to this externally maintained Marker, what do you think the user impact will be in OpenSUSE? Is this enough of a transition timeline? And do we think other distributions are going to follow? I didn't think we would be getting fallout from this deal so quickly, but it's definitely interesting following along with this saga. Anyway, since you made it to the end of the video, you're a true fan, make sure to subscribe below and smash that like button on the way back up. You wouldn't want to miss another video like this. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.